Hello everyone, it is Tyler, and today I will be making a video about something that has been highly suggested. How to print from terminal to thermal So this is how to do it. I will be showing you hypothetically how to do this because unfortunately I do not have a spare thermal printer lying around. So take this with a grain of salt and make sure that if you do get it working, you help others in the comments and also in the Discord server listed in the description because there will be questions in that server about this topic. I believe you will need one of these POS printers to be sure that you can work with this Python library named ESCPOS. Now the Python libraries you will need are ESC, POS, and TikTok Live. I have already made a video about the TikTok Live library in another video so if you would like to see that make sure you check it out in the description or in the card on the top right. But for ESC POS library, I will be explaining how to get started with it and how to get it implemented into your TikTok live script to do things when people donate, follow, like, the stream, and other events. Now first you will want to install both of these libraries. You will need to use pip. Now to install these with pip, you do pip install ESC POS. You tap enter, it will download that. Now for the TikTok Live library, you will also need that. This library enables you to read TikTok Live chat and see events, see when you're gifted, etc. I've made a video about it. Like I said, I'll link that. So install TikTok Live. Make sure each and every capitalization that is in that is what you type in. Now I am going to show you the basics of the commands with the thermal printer. First you will want to import the library with the USB library if you are using your printer via USB. In this example, also following by the GitHub example, is using a Saiku Espan Corp received printer. Epson, whatever. Yeah. This is what they use on the GitHub. So I think this one's a bit pricey. So you also have to find the USB vendor ID and product ID. I believe you can find this in device manager in the hardware ID section. This will probably be unique to everyone. So make sure that you find those parts first. So to find this, you have to, obviously I don't have a printer. So you would have to find your device, go to properties, go to details, uh, switch it from device description to hardware IDs. The IDs should be in here. I am not sure though. So take this again with a grain of salt. So I think these four characters right here would be the ID and then you'd put it here and OX is uh, put before it. So you'd put the vendor ID first and then the product ID. I'm not sure what these do, so I'm sure you can look at the GitHub and see all, what all that information means, but I'm just following the examples. <clears throat> now to send chat to your printer, you're going to use what you initialize up here, which is now your printer object, and you send text to it by doing the text function and entering this. So this is a string and you enter hello world and then new line. This makes sure that whatever you entered before this is put on and then it goes to the next line. So whatever you do next, for example, an image. So this is an example image. I obviously don't have this, but if you enter this, it'll hopefully print out an image on the new line. Next is a barcode. If you ever need a barcode, for this example, I would not use a barcode for anything TikTok Live. I don't see any point to it. And for cutting the receipt paper, you use this function. And it will hopefully cut if you have a printer that cuts. Now that you got the basics, I hope that you can figure out how to use the next ones with network I, uh, printer IPs. What? IP printer addresses, and there's also a serial 
number version of this on the GitHub. There's also a serial printer, but you also have to import serial for this to work if you have a serial printer. Now let's implement this library into your TikTok Live bot. To start this, you are going to need to import TikTok Live in your ESCPOS libraries as shown. I'm also going to import my events into the script. Now let's make our client. Our client has a username, which is the name of the streamer, and make sure to enable the gift info. I will leave my source code in the description of the video. To run this client, you will need this prompt, and this will run the client, and run any event that's in between these two lines. So I will be showing you these events. This connect event will show you what room ID you are connected to. This is not very useful for printing anything out on a printer, but it shows you any information that you're connected to, or shows you what room ID you're connected to. I almost forgot, but be sure to implement your printer via USB or whatever you are using. The other versions are in the GitHub in the description for ESC POS. I will be using this one from the example. It might be different for you guys. Now this is an example of a printer printing to anybody that is saying anything in the comments. So this will print out the, un the username and saying that they comment on the video saying their comment. This is an example of the printer printing out a profile of the user that commented. Now hopefully this should work. I haven't really tested this out, but this gets the first URL of the profile picture. You might have to search around how to download this or whatever because it might need to have the file already downloaded on your computer. But that is for you guys to search around and do. Or ask in the Discord. This is an example of a person sending a gift and it printing out the name of the user that sent it and what they sent. Um, make sure to have new line after every text otherwise it might start doing everything on the same line. I don't know quite how to explain it but it won't go to the next line onto the receipt paper and it'll probably break it somehow. Hopefully you get the gist of how these two can work together. Um, work together in the Discord server on how to do this. Uh, and hopefully this helped. Thank you for watching. Like if you liked the video. Subscribe for more. Uh, peace out.